The fourth reason is simply stars. Now, a star will die one per 25 years per galaxy. And so, if the galaxy was less than 10,000 years old, we would predict to only find about 200 dead stars in our galaxy. And sure enough, that's what we find. We find less than 200 dead stars in the galaxy. If you look at other galaxies, you'll only find about 200 dead stars in each galaxy, which means that if evolution were true, and if the evolutionary timescale of billions of years was taking place, you would have hundreds of thousands of dead stars throughout the entire universe. The fact that you find only 200 dead stars per galaxy literally proves beyond any shadow of doubt that the galaxies, and our galaxy in particular, the Milky Way, is a young galaxy. So I'm not completely sure where Matt is getting his numbers here. He doesn't have any citations at all, which is typical. So I really have no way of tracking it down and Google searches aren't helping. The information that I did find from <laughs> real astronomers has the birth and death rate of stars being at about one per year for each, which eventually turns into about 275 million stars that die and are born each year. So I'm not really sure where he's getting this number of one star death per 25 years. It really just seems like a made up figure. Just like the 200 dead stars in each galaxy thing. I don't know where in the fuck he gets that from. Of course, you gotta keep in mind, this is coming from a guy who thinks the Confederates hunted pterodactyls. All just because he saw an image on the internet. And the thing is, I do believe there was talk about these things. I believe if we study history, you know, the Confederates were able to shoot pterodactyls, you know, back in the Civil War, and they spread these things out. Anybody can look it up online. They spread these things out. And this is, this is, this is, excuse me, this is a historical fact. So, you know, they spread this thing out and it's got a huge wing length. And it's a pterodactyl they shot. So, of course, these things have been around. Now, they went extinct, obviously, slowly, but surely. And so, so the fact that he would just make up random numbers in order to prove his point really isn't all that surprising. So strike number four there, Matt. This is not going well, is it, bud? 